I got the call around 10 minutes after 9. Um, an individual called in and said that she had been on a float trip with a number of friends and one of the girls that had been on the float trip didn't come ashore with the rest of the, the group. And this, uh, she was with how many of her friends? They said there was about nine of them, uh, guys and girls, and they started at Wildcat Park and were supposed to come down to Peters Mill, which is also called the Landings, right at Eisenhower and uh, Creasy Lane. And this girl, I mean, everybody saw her. They all thought that she was going to come out of the water with them. She saw them all walking up the steps, and this isn't the first time that she's made this trip with the same group before. And she just must have floated right on by and didn't come ashore like, like everybody else was. Sure. Are we talking high school, middle school, adults? Or? They're all adults. All everybody, adults. Everybody's over 21 um, that I've talked to so far that's been in the group. Um, they, I don't know why she didn't come ashore. I guess there might have been a little bit of bickering going on ahead of time, but um, it didn't sound like it was real serious or anything. Sure. Uh, what are you guys doing right now? Are there people on the water and you guys are waiting, or what's the situation? Yes, right now we've got two officers that put in at the landings. Um, that was the last time that anybody saw her. One of the group did go downstream a little bit, about a quarter mile, and talk to a witness, supposedly, and uh, she had this witness that was taking photographs. Um, it was just there on her own time or whatever. Um, she said that she saw a girl float by in a, in a pink armchair style blow up float and said that it was kind of strange because nobody ever makes it past that point. Everybody always takes out at the landings, nobody goes any further than that. So she thought it was kind of strange that somebody was floating by right there. Um, right now we've got two officers in a canoe that put in at the landings and they're coming downstream to us and here in a little bit um, Officer Gillen and I are gonna head up to 9th Street there at Davis Ferry Park um, Just south of Swisher Road and we're gonna put a couple of kayaks on and possibly come upstream and try to meet uh, The other two officers and see if we can't find her in the process Did the group mention if alcohol had been involved in their um, They claimed that there was no alcohol on the trip they said that they had gone to a restaurant earlier and that they had drank a little bit prior to even going to the restaurant. So they drank a little bit first at home, went to a restaurant, had a couple of drinks, and then went on the creek and they claimed that there was no alcohol involved. At this point, I don't have any evidence to believe anything to the contrary. Sure. Does this woman live in Lafayette or is this an out Yes, she does. She's, she's a local, local resident here as, as our the rest of the group. Sure. And your guys' plan is to search through the night or is more search, another search team coming out in the morning? Or? Um, right now, we'll probably try to meet um, myself and Officer Gillen if we put on at 9th Street and meet Officer Tholen and Peckney um, midway on the creek somewhere. At that point, we'll say that we've exhausted any possibility that she's on the Wildcat. Um, in a float tube, I don't think she's gonna have a whole lot of luck trying to go upstream. Um, the only other thing after that is if she could have made it to the river and floated downstream, but I think she would take out, I think it's more likely she's wandering on land somewhere and just trying to find somewhere that she knows, you know, is a place that she can stop and make a phone call. Um, I did talk to her mom already and her mom said that usually she calls her whenever there's a problem, so I'm, ex I'm hoping that that'll be the first phone call that she makes us to her, to her mom. Was the group wearing life jackets? or did they No, say? there was only one individual in the group that had a life jacket, and that was a four or five-year-old that was along. Everybody else didn't have any, any life jackets at all.